Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show you a demo script where I'm going to onboard users into call manager in Unity connection. So basically I'm going to create end user for the uh, for those couple of users and then going to create a Jabber profile and associate the Jabber profile to the end user and also create a voicemail. So I'm not going to use BAT today. So I'm going to use a Python script and this Python script will execute on the back end and do all the required things for the onboarding process. So I'm still working on the script to make it more uh, effective and make it more, uh, you know, uh, usable in real time scenario. Maybe for example, let's say when a new user is created Created. So it should get the accounts uh, on the back end automatically. So I've yet not yet found a process to do so, but I'm still working on it to understand and see how can it be done. But at this moment, uh, I'm trying to create a local user and, uh, you know, uh, associate to all those devices. So uh, I'm going to run a very small Python script and this Python script is going to, you know, fetch the users from this particular CSV file. So for example, it is going to create a user as a Tom, Harry, and Dick. So it is going to create user, first name, last name, and going to assign those telephone number to those users. So now let me show you into the call manager. If you see right now, there are no phones at this moment or let me show you if there are no route patterns or if I have to show you the end user, there are two end users only at this moment. Now, if I have to go to the voicemail, you see there are only a few voicemail account. There, are, there is no voicemail account for Tom, Dick and Harry. So let me show you the demo script. So I'm going to run this Python script now. Okay, so you see. It is completed running the script. Now all the three users should be imported into the call manager. So let's see from uh, the end user perspective here. You see, these three users are created locally, Tom, Dick, and Harry. Let's go to this user one. So you see uh, the user uh, has got created and it has got uh, the I mean, presence checkbox checked. It has got a control device also associated, which means it has also created a Java profile and it has also created a by, uh, primary extension and then it has associated the end user group. So likewise, it has done for all the other two. So let me show you the Jabber's, um, Jabber here. So you see it has done the basic configuration, like for example, assigning, creating a device name, then creating a you know, description device will have kept it as default and associated uh, Tom with this particular user ID. Now, if I have to go here in the extension field, so it has got, it has created some directory number. It has created some voicemail information. It has checked all those voicemail box here on the forward new, forward busy internal, external, etc. And it has also created a ASCII display name. So uh, we can still modify, you know, uh, many other parameters here. So I'm not as uh, created the, those parameters to, you know, reflect in this particular script. And if you see here, it is also associated the line as well. So likewise, uh, this is applicable. Now you have seen for Tom, so it will be different for Harry. So you see, this is for Harry here. It has associated Harry's owner user ID. It has created whatever is associated to Harry. It has created that particular directory number for Harry. And it has associated all those uh, parameters for Harry, you know. So. Now coming back to the voicemail here. So if I click on find, so if you see here, uh, it has created an uh, extension for Tom, Dick and Harry, and also, you know, reset the voicemail pin to whatever I have created. So at this moment, it has reset the voicemail pin to one, two, three, four, five, six. So let me show you one uh, account here. It's alias is Hey Tom. You see the SNTP information extension. So it is, uh, this is what I'm doing at this moment. So I'm still working on it and, you know, trying to see uh, what are things we can automate using this script. So once I am done with the complete script, I'll share it with you guys. Thank you for watching. Of course, please uh, do share uh, your review feedback on the comment section and let me know what else things can be, you know, created with this script and what all things you want uh, to be uh, created in order to make it more uh, usable in terms of real-time network or real-time scenarios. Thank you for watching this video.